I'm hunting all the scav bosses in Escape from Tarkov, giving myself over 35,000 HP and a Tiger 1. With all the scav bosses spawning in labs, I'm going to try and kill them all without firing a shot. I installed mods to allow me to modify spawn rates of bosses, changing how much HP I have, giving myself 5,000 HP on each limb. And I'm coming straight into the labs to kill all of the scav bosses and whatever PMCs I find. Having taken a bunch of damage while getting the first PMC kill, you might be wondering, can I heal? Well, of course I can. And in the starter supplies, I had some ETG, Dash C, Blue Blood, and Propital Injectors. And it is labs after all, so meds will be abundant. Ooh, that's actually Rajala. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, okay. Come on. Just stay there. That's the problem. Ooh, there we go. I'll try and heal up here really quick. Oh, and you might be wondering about this radar down in the bottom right. Yes, it's a literal radar. But this is single player. So, leave me alone, okay? Seems like a bunch of these bosses have spawned underground. 540 health, holy. I love it's in my stomach, which is good. This uh, room down here is going to be difficult. I think I need flashbangs and stuff like that. I can't kill any of them without... The radio allows me to locate bosses a bit easier. And the challenge is to kill them all, not hide and seek the bosses. So I added it too. I think that's all of the guards for him. So I don't even think I'm going to bother. So it seems like the, someone else is in this back hall over here. Let's call and die. There we go. I'm gonna take this just in case I can get some flashbang rounds. That would be cool, I think. Two bosses down, and with a bunch more still somewhere on the map, my hunting continued. With a bunch of the guards still around, I went on a killing spree. Trying to get some better gear, like this guy's all tinned and some body armor. Oh, this guy's an all tinned. Need to recover arms, I'm here. Need to get up as much health as possible. Get my chest back full, and then we go. Come here, boy. It's one of uh, Rashala's guards. <laughs> Myself some more um, stomach healing. I don't need this. I need one that and that. The earring is better. I think this is killer. I'll leave them there for now. They're safe um, for me to kill later. Let's go see if I can kill like Sherman and Gluhar and all those guys. No, that's sad. With Gluhar already taken out, it was at this point I realised it would take more than just one raid to complete this challenge. I went back on the hunt, running out all the boss icons on the radar, killing all that I could, looking for a flash of grenades. Alright, let's keep going. Seems like a little, some of them are upstairs, some of them are, most of them are downstairs, inside that little room down there. Oof. Seems like I'm getting on, oh, there's a guy here.
What should happen to this guy? Did he fall? Yeah, he fell, right? Ooh, that sounds a lot out Zorachi and all of his guards, I healed back up as much HP as possible and then went on the hunt for our next victim, killing off a bunch of the raiders and guards and not finding many more bosses as the clock was beginning to run out. Who are you cultists? Who are you a guard for I wonder? Man died so hard right now, holy. Okay, that's that guy. Seems like there's two guys inside there or down here, I don't know. I guess yeah, it's inside there because I think that makes sense. Let's go. Hmm. This might be the closest I'm gonna come to buy. Time. I need to get out. Coming back into the second raid, I had been chasing Killer for a while. Now, can you stop running around in circles, please, Killer? But he was very aggro to another AI PMC, so I was just running after this guy, even avoiding other PMCs. I wanted to get this kill. I'm back here. I can and will outrun you. Yes, there we go. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see you in the afterlife. After killing this PMC, I ran into what was supposed to be an AI Giga Giant, but he was no match for my 5,000 HP limbs. Three thousand eight hundred health. I need to get up. But these guys are underneath. Interesting. Okay, that's actually kind of good. All right, let's take on whoever this is. Entering into the rat tunnels of labs, hunting a blip on my minimap, I ran into Sanitar. And after getting the kill, I then killed all the guards, had a bunch of players and raiders. Bring in the bosses. And then opened the hangar gates, bringing me face to face with Gluhar.
coming so close to dying in this encounter. Surviving with less than 5% health, I went back on the hunt for Kaban. See who's over here now. I still have to kill, um... Thick boy. Bossman. This is risky. I need to heal some more before doing this, to be honest. I do need to get out because I'm, I'm too, too low health right now. Got to walk through this door, I think. After another very close call, but successfully taking out Caban, I made my way to the extract and got out with my life, only needing two more boss skills, Sturman and the Goons. And win. Cool. Sturman, nice. Merba. That dude's just running from me. Can't run forever. German is down. Don't know if I killed him or not, but um, I count that. Hey, buddy. You're one of Sanitar's, um, no, not Sanitar, um, Sturman's guards. Get the other one. Ooh. Now here is the big boss. He's going to be the difficult one. Alright, here we go. Flashbang. Opening the food gates, bringing in the goons, the last bosses he needed to kill, and getting a quick kill on Bernard. <laughs> I really didn't want to fail this now. Getting some good hits on the big pipe, I needed to recover some stamina and try to heal some of the damage I had taken. I ran away into the tighter halls under parking to give me the advantage. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna close this door so that I can try and isolate them. Nice, okay. Come on, what? Let's get out. Yeah, goons and Sturman. I've killed both. Let's go, dude. 